The current situation is that it's quite external driven and the drug companies make, um, the pharmaceutical companies make medicines available and organizations like the one I run uh, take the, um, the medicines from the factory gate and make sure that they reach and do whatever is necessary to reach the people who need them. Now that means that we've got to uh, advocate within the countries, we've got to train people, usually non-medical people, to deliver the medicines and we've also uh, got to monitor and evaluate what we do because the people who've donated the funding and the medicines want to know the results. The coverage has varied from village to village, from district to district, and it's really been quite dependent on the level of advocacy and care that the people who uh, were entrusted to deliver the drugs um, took in order to uh, educate the You know, you could line up 20 kids if you're a school teacher and say, open your mouth and give them 20 tablets. But that's not really the way to do it. And I think we all know that that would be an extreme. But to what extent should we explain what we're trying to do? To what ex how much time should we take to do that? And how do we, who do we educate? Do we educate the children? Do we educate their parents? Do we educate the teachers? Or do we educate perhaps the regional medical officers? My view is we have to spend time on all of them, but we don't always have uh, the expertise. We don't, when we're, when we're doing a trickling down treatment, that message doesn't always get through correctly. We are targeting 700 million people every year to take one, two, three or four different medicines against these neglected tropical diseases. The anthropologists visit maybe 10 villages and those villages are not even representative necessarily of, of, of the districts where they are, let alone uh, all the countries that, that we've been treating. But there are tremendous lessons to be learned because some of the messages that the anthropolo anthropologists pick up are really important and are general. So someone has got to evaluate the sociological research that's done to work out what is useful and what perhaps is so low 